In his final re-election push, U.S. President Donald Trump returned to the city of Grand Rapids, Michigan, the same place he ended his final campaign rally four years ago. National opinion polls have shown Trump trailing Democratic opponent Joe Biden, but the race remains close in battleground states like Michigan, as well as Wisconsin and North Carolina. We made history together four years ago, and tomorrow we're going to make history. Trump has ramped up his unfounded attacks on mail-in voting in the final stretch of the campaign. Some states, including critical Pennsylvania and Wisconsin, do not start counting mail-in votes until Election Day, slowing the process. Earlier on Monday evening, Trump again decried a recent Supreme Court decision allowing the mail-in ballot deadline to be extended in Pennsylvania. Late on Monday, Trump also tweeted that the decision would, quote, induce violence in the streets, claiming without evidence it will allow rampant and unchecked cheating. Twitter later flagged Trump's tweet as misleading, along with a disclaimer that voting by mail and in person have, quote, a history of trustworthiness. This year has seen a record surge of mail-in ballots due to the global health crisis. Millions of Americans have already voted. Meanwhile, Biden, who has made Trump's handling of the health crisis the central theme of his campaign, spent his last day on the trail taking aim at Trump's divisive rhetoric. And I don't care how hard Donald Trump tries, there's nothing, nothing he can do to stop the people of this nation from voting no matter how he tries. The uncertainty and prospect of prolonged legal battles over the election have fueled unprecedented anxiety about the outcome and aftermath. In a sign of apprehension over the days ahead, storefronts were boarded up in cities from Washington and New York to Raleigh, North Carolina.